Hello, Zag here. Welcome to a new series, Frozenheim. So I thought I would start with the tutorial. So begin the tutorial. I've never played this game before, so we're going to see what happens. All right. WSD to move the cursor. Wow. This is a... Uh, very cool stuff. Left mouse button on Warriors or Team ban Banner to select them. Oh, there they are. The little, the tiny. Some big trees there. Oh, hold on. Let me just check the video stuff. I can see it. Where is it? Ah, there you are. Right. That's better. That's better. Right. As we can't always be guaranteed to, you know, have 60 frames per second. Right. Um, left mouse button on the warriors. They blend with the trees. Look at that. They're like, why are they sneaking? What? Quite big, isn't it? Right. To the, to the orange circle. Like the little plants and things in the background, they're very sweet. They look like miniature stuff. Like that. Miniature trees. Anyway. Um, okay. Yeah, a drag box. Oh, hello. Right. Okay, these seem like fairly simple RTS controls at the moment. Alright, I have right mouse clicked on them. A couple of dudes with spears, a couple of dudes with axes. Are these single units then? Hold. Oh, uh, I don't Hostile team! Where are you, hostile team? Are you there? I oh, know they're over there. Okay, right. Gotcha. So they're just single units, right? So they're single units with multiple human or multiple entities in it. Okay, uh, we got speed up things controls there. Nice. Let's send these guys to attack these guys. Some dogs, eh? Hello, doggies. Were they wolves? I don't know. Oh, I feel sad for them now. Poor wolves. Right. Got a few more, <laughs> more wolves to kill. Oh, I feel really sad now. I don't want to kill the wolves. All users have skills that can be used to gain advantage. Click on the ability button to activate. Alright, uh, ability buttons. Aha! Vision. they got like eagle eyes. Okay, sweet. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them. Neutral, defensive, battle abilities. What's this in? Rage! We have used our rage ability. Ooh, we got boats. Get in the boat. It's like Valheim all over again. Alright. This is uh Bring it on! It's boat battling time. Oh. I thought my boat isn't very full of people. Um oh it's got like some people in it. This boat has got less people in it. The boats are hugging, they're giving a special hug. You know they're invading each other. In a very civilized way. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Okay. While ship indicators are visible. Oh, right. So, where we can go there, we can dock. Okay, right. I got you. So, like there. So, we can land the ships, basically. It's not too bad. Uh, that's uh, that's a fairly obvious concept. Do we have a big map? Oh, we got a map map. Okay, right, cool. <laughs> right. I gotcha. I'm following this. Ooh, the boat is a little bit broken, isn't it? Now, if it's going to beach or it's just going to magically end up on the thing. It kind of ends up. Oh, it's a Giles homestead. 
essential essential for that. Soldier on the scout. Right. There's mouse button on it. All right, and this is the radius of which we can build. Um, okay. Selecting buildings construct. Building category. What have we got then? A bunch of buildings. Fisherman's heart. We've got his heart. Takes a skilled. Okay. A boat. Nice. And some palisades. Gate. A watchtower. Deconstruct. A register. A register? Okay, click again on one of the buildings buttons to select the building construct. Okay, well. Uh, what does this do? Water. Uh, I think we can only build houses at the moment. Build a fisherman's hut. Okay, we can't build a fisherman's hut. We can build, build a hunter's hut. No. I guess we'll build a house. What does the uh, circle around it mean? I don't know. Weird. Oh, is it a tutorial? So I've got to build it here. Click on the mouse button building category to show the items available to build. So this is a. I reckon this is a. Uh, uh, a a test for the yeah this is right okay yeah so this is just tutorial thing right that makes a lot of sense so this must be the radius of the building okay so we catch these trees by putting it building it like here okay right nice right slightly confused by that every time you post building workers will automatically appear from the giles homestead giles uh, and uh, begin Oh, so you got to put everything here. So what, have you, what are you bringing over here? I'm just going to sort of hammer away at it. Oh, okay, they're building it. That's nice. Mm -mm -mm. A house. We don't want to go. What's over there? In the dark rooms of the forest. Uh, gathered from this area around the collection ballot. Enable area selection mode using the button in this building panel. Alright. Collection ballot. Oh, okay, alright. So they basically got collection radiuses now. Makes a lot of sense. That's kind of like um, a mechanic from um, Surviving the Aftermath. Workers have to be associated with the building. Building panel or alt key. So we want to assign some workers. There we go. Okay, right, so we need to assign some workers to the Yarl's homestead. And food. Um, we want to get food. That makes a lot of sense. Food. Build ourselves a fisherman's head. There's the green bar, like. Fisherman's hut can be placed solely on the seashore. The windmill's production depends on the size of the field. The orchard's food production increases over time. Okay, right. So, but it's, uh, today you will build a fisherman's hut. Okay. Okay. It does look cool though. I haven't built it yet. It looks very pretty though. How's this thing going? How many workers have we got? It's hard to tell. Oh. Active workers. Battle units. Two. Okay. Fine. Pull back. Oh, here we go. Someone's bringing a cart. It's the cart. Oh, there's two, two workers now. I presume we can assign more workers to this. Aha! Okay, that's our number of workers. Oh, Alright, I don't know how we get more workers. I'm sure it'll tell us. Uh, right, food can be gathered from production buildings. Oh, uh, now we're building this hut. Okay, right, that makes a lot of sense. All right, building the fisherman's hut. Yes. 
Okay, what we're collectors guild. Go as resources from deposits limit capacity. Okay, all right. So, what's this then? Production buildings, is it? Collectors guild. Well, they collect nonsense. And presumably, the fisherman's hut doesn't have like a little flag. No. Okay, right. We'll send someone to get food. So at the moment we got that's how much food. That's how much mead. Mead. Wood. Stone. Steel. Bog iron. Fair enough. Animal skins and uh, clothes. Okay. It does look very pretty though. They've got some nice flags on there. On the tops of their uh, Viking houses. I like the I like the little uh, the look of the houses as well. They look really cool. I like that. Should build something like that in Valheim, really, shouldn't I? At some point. What do they want me to build here? To produce expanding settlements population, you can do this by producing houses, which generate population over time. Okay, which will allow us to sign more workers or recruit more warriors. So, yes. I don't know if there's a limit to number of houses, but I guess it's a tutorial, so we don't particularly have... I don't kind of know what the circle on the house means. But, you know, why we'll build it. Oh, it's ten wood to do that. Okay. High happiness allows you to generate population faster and unlocks Yarl's homestead. Upgrades. Alright, oh, so it's like the neighbourhood. So three houses next to the other one. Okay. Okay, right. So we just want to build a bunch of houses in. I don't know really if they need space between them. I have no idea. But we'll just like pile them in together. It's hard to tell. Happiness. Why are they happiness too then? So they are. They don't care about water. We've got no entertainment, but they are happy on the amount of neighbouring nearby. So this must be their like their happiness radius or something. This is the happiness radius. Okay, fine. As a happiness value to put on the neighbourhood buildings. A whole ship or posting buildings to snap. Ah, okay. Next time. Yes, that. Yes, that's all right. Yeah, I'll do that next time. Ow. Right, so what are we doing then? Each house has happiness value. Bio happiness. Okay, that's alright, thanks. What have we got to do here? <laughs> what does this what are you telling me to do, Circle? We've got all the houses built. The happiness bonus. Okay, right, so you've got three houses, they're free. They're free, that's good. So I guess happiness is just slowly going up. Oh, right. Ah, the Jarl's homestead is ready to be upgraded. Wow, we've got, like, all the workers in the world now. And we'll put two more in there. And we'll put in, like, a couple of workers there. And we will go gather wreaths. They're being gathered. Cool. Okay, right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Okay, right. Cool. Right, so let's upgrade our home. I think we can upgrade it. Can't we upgrade it? Yeah. Upgrade building. Okay, right. Ah, and then we can upgrade our houses. So this costs us money and stone. Oh, it turns into a little hut. Bring it on. So it increases the potential number of villagers we have, just like kicking about. Cool. Hold shift. Right, we don't do that yet. What have we got? Why is this thing obsessed with making me construct a five additional? Oh, okay. 
There we go. Five additional as opposed as so six in total. Uh, I can do maths. I am good at maths. Nice. This workers hut. I might as well crank up the number of workers. We've got loads of workers. I don't think we can over provision. You can't over provision the workers. That's fine. Build that fisherman's hut. We can't actually repair this boat, I don't think. Unless we click on here. And we, oh no. Oh, we've got more stuff to do. Um, we've got a building elders hall. There are additional technologies related to the selected clan. Each clan unlocks perks that support different branches of research. Every new tier unlocks the next level of town hall. Okay, right. So, was it not food production? Production buildings? Uh, nope. I don't know where the Elders Hall is. No, oh, there it is. The Elders Hall. Um, I guess we'll put it, like, here. I'm annoyed now that I haven't actually put it in straight but whatevs right that's fine I'm sure they'll enjoy the Elders Hall right we can upgrade these villagers so we've got even more villagers all right that's how many villagers team limit is 20 so we've got to build this thing um okay get that going I've got to say it does look very nice though how pretty it looks it does feel a bit like um Surviving the aftermath. Like resources and... Eh, that's not a bad thing. I'll just comment, really. <laughs> so, there's this thing. Technology tree. Okay, choose our clan. What, what do these do? Access defensive buildings. Exploration and mysticism abilities. The deer clans. The wolf clan. Uh, I guess we'll go for the deer clan. I don't know. Pick a clan, any clan. Army. Right. So let's have a look at this then. So, Elder's Hall. We've got a clan. So, can we pick something? A happy place. Once it decreases over time, if you have at least four production buildings, reduces food cons consumption by 30%. Increases the happiness of all houses by one. Okay. All right. Uh, training field. So this is going to have to be this. A training field. They're like the training field's right next to their um, their houses. Suppose you know, don't have to go far for battling. Oh yeah, we don't have much vision here, do we? Is this a limit of this circle? Ooh, paths. Okay, that's the paths that resources are taking to get back to the, the place. So that's reasonable. Ah, and this circle is the area we can build in. Fine. Okay, let's get this training hall built anyway. We might as well assign some more people to it, you know? It's not like... What have we got? What are they... Oh, can't see what they're statistically happy about. I like this, though. Wisdom. All right, so they like being near the outer soul. Healer's heart. Water. Can we build whales? I don't know if we can in tutorial land. Maybe. Uh, yeah. We can. That'll make him even happier. Right, so we're not here to do that. Use a training field to create any warriors. Okay, create a bunch of warriors. Ooh. Archers, axemen, scouts. Oh, wow. What can they do? Shield bearers. Right, let's do those two then. Let's build some. Nice, and they're training away. Can we move this? Nope, it's just the way it is. Oh, this is the muster point. <gasps> oh, I like that. Look at that, that's cool. 
like frost punk vibes with the old snow. That looks awesome. <laughs> I like that. Your first door. I feel sorry for these guys, though. Did you go like? Can you chill? What is this? Siege machine. I thought it was like some sort of like Mad Max type device. Be aware, any players team can enter an occupied siege machine. Siege machine. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Air settlers in. So we can build them what? Settlers? Militia. All right. So we have to upgrade that. And then we can build a... Oh, settlers. All right, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's a long defron. See, we'll move that somewhere so it's a bit safer, like in my village, as opposed to like all over the place. Where are you going? Where are you settling? What are you gathering? Gathering nothing. Oh yeah, because you're out of wood. Got no wood. Oh no. Oh yeah. No. Ah. Right. So we got our... What? They want us to go settle over there, did they? Place an outpost. You need to settle as a unique skill. Where are my settlers when they're at home? Settlers. Oh. Ooh. I don't know what they're saying, but there you go. I'm sure it's absolutely fine. Build an outpost. Okie dokie. Come team, build an outpost. Maybe we should train some more warriors. I don't know. I've no idea how many warriors I'm going to actually need. So. These houses can be upgraded. Upgrade the well. Oh well. Oh, I need a worker. Okay. Oh, we're building. Uh, we're building it here. It's being built. Nice. Do they like having well nearby? They do like having the well nearby. Nice. Okay. Cool. Right. So build the outpost. Hold on. Some interactable begins a dialogue for which you'll be able to start a quest or exchange resources for services. Hey, huh. Okay. Talk to the gay people and open the passage. Alright, we'll do that then. Some Still a bunch of warriors over there. Yo. We'll just go and say hello to him. What does that do for us then? Don't really know. Uh, I guess we can just build more stuff, can't we? Gives us more influence. So that's coming along. All right, let's have a word. Hello. Ah, oh. the only resources. They want resources. They want all of this stuff. What is this? They want that's wood. Oh no, it's meat. It's food. Food, wood. What have we got then? Okay, that's nice. Oh, we can't afford it. That's mean. Okay, so we need a whole bunch of stuff then. 
Well, we'll just lurk around here so we can actually talk to him. Oh, no. Well, there we go. All right, you do it there. It's weird. So they want wood. What haven't we got then? Food. Okay, so we need more food. Oh, right. Let's get more food. Who's these chaps over here Pull to protect the thing? We can't afford that, so we need more food. I'm going to get more food. I know what to do. We'll just get a, like, we'll build. What have we got over here then? Can we build stuff over here? Alright, so the Jarl's Hut's the way that we build things. Right, are we selected that way? Right. Food production building. Hunter's Hut Orchard. Can we build an orchard? Build an orchard? Woodcut hut. Alright, we should probably just carry on cutting wood then. What if trees go back? Be quite important. Otherwise they're a pretty limited resource. Um Yeah, also we're running out of food, which is problematic for uh, continued survival, I would imagine. Um Right. Probably not to be, supposed to be running so low on food. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what we can do. Out at all. Have we got anything useful here? Right. We select that. Happy place. Balanced diet. And we need food to actually make that, to get that. Okay. Find. All right, orchards are small. They're cute. Work it, baby. Let's get some more food as well. Uh, don't think there's anything sort of like sympathetic to these things, so that's fine. Right. Food supplies running painfully low. Make food. You cowards. Hunger. Right. So we've got no food. It's going well. Gotta like remember, food is important. More important than I'm obviously, obviously than this place can produce because it's crap. Well, they've made five food. That's just really bad. Really constructed, right? So cool. We got another means of gathering food. Right. How's this thing doing anyway? You got food? Who knows how much food you've got? We got one food. We need to see the amount of food going up. That's what we need. The upwards trend in food consumption. And what hunger does, it doesn't actually tell me. Uh, I mean, obviously I know what hunger does, food. Uh, food building pros and cons. Fisherman hut can be placed solely on the seashore. Windmills production depends on the size of its field. And the orchard's food production increases over time. That doesn't sound like a bad thing, to be honest. Right, we've got food now. We've got trees being cut down. What's this thing doing? Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Gathering from here. Right, that's good. Okay, right. So what have we got then? Talk to the gatekeeper. Well, we can't yet because we've got no food. Okay, fine. That gatekeeper's sure got a big old gate. Can we just go and knock it down with like... Our um, army can't do that. Probably not. Plus, we got food wise. Uh, hunter's hut allows you to create hunters who produce food and animal skins. Ooh. Look, over here. Wait, okay, right. Let's get that going then. I'm 
presumably hunger is going to decrease happiness. Not so much. All right, okay, so the more people we put in it, the more... Right, sweet. Okay, that increases the radii of the um, well distribution. Nice. How's this thing doing, anyway? I don't know how much, like... Housing space must be at least 70. Okay, we need, like, loads more houses, then. We got a hunter's hut radius here. Go hunt, you losers. I don't know how productive this hunting place will be. Go hunt over here, right. We're getting food back though, which is nice. We're slowly gathering it up. Right, so we do need more houses though, so house um because we could put it here and another house like here more people is always a good thing it's a bit difficult judging how much food one needs to survive in the in the world today what's that what's that pop it all right now you just Deposit depleted. Put the collection banner on a new deposit. It's a hunter's hut. I don't know. Yeah? Where? Where's the good place for hunting? I don't know. Yeah? No? Maybe there's no good place for hunting around here and you need animals or something? I can't see them though. Maybe that was a terrible choice of food. Oh, no, there's stuff here. Oh, I see a deer in there. There you go, deer. Excellent, okay. We're going to go slaughter them, though. But yeah, what's that? You wanted to be slaughtered? Excellent. Well, you shouldn't have been made of food then, should you, animals? Right. How, speaking of food... How's it coming? Oh my god. It's actually producing lots of food, are you? Right. Maybe I've tarried too long. And I'll never open the gate at this rate. What do you want, gatekeeper? We've got the wood. We don't have the food, but we've got the metal. So it's just food is our problem. Okay, right. Right, right, right. We can resolve that. These problems can be resolved by building more food stuff. It's like the orchard land. What's that do? Oh, greater than eight. Okay, right. It just basically means build more people. How's the hunter's hut? Has it actually got food in it? Oh, it's got food in it. Awesome. Alright. It's Jar's hut. Yeah. Okay, right. Nice. Now, this place is happy. We want more villagers. Oh. It's a real shame we can't over-provision villagers for tasks. It gets us more stuff. I think food is finally starting to sort of flow up. I know it's all a little bit dodgy. But I feel good. But, unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave it for here, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification, consider the Patreon, um, and I will see you for the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.